the glory of God took upon himself human form. All that I just saw, all that I just read, the Lord, the Lord, merciful, gracious, long-suffering, the Lord, his goodness, all that we saw in Ezekiel, all we see throughout the Old Testament became human. Now that to me is a mind-boggling truth, that the glory of God took upon himself human form, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. So Jesus is the express image of the Godhead. He is God in the flesh. Paul writes about this in Corinthians, where he talks about Jesus being the image of God. A lot of people may disagree on the Trinity and so forth. I believe God the Father is not God the Son. And God the Father is not God the Holy Spirit. And God the Son is not God the Father or the Holy Spirit. And God the Holy Spirit is not God the Father or the Son. Three, yet one God. Three means three persons. The glory of the Lord is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But the glory of the Lord is revealed to me as a human by another human named Jesus. Because I don't understand the glory of God as it is revealed in the Old Covenant. None of you and none of us will till that glorious day when we're in glory. Yet, all I know is it's all in Jesus. Jesus is the glory of God in the flesh. So when I worship Jesus, when I look to Jesus, the presence of God is revealed. The presence of the Lord is manifested. Now you say, well, like someone asked me one time, well, who do I talk to, Father, Son, Holy Spirit? I said, there's no, com there's no competition in the Godhead, lady. When you talk to Jesus, you're talking to all three. Amen. Only people of the Spirit can grasp this. You have to be in the Spirit to even go through the Son. And you have to go through the Son to reach God Almighty. So say with me, of the Father, the Father through, the Son, through the Son, in the Spirit. In the Spirit. Say it again. Of the, the Father, Father say it again. Of the Father, the Son, now say, in the, Spirit, in the Spirit, through the Son, through the Son of the Father. God never once said, never, you'll never see this in the Bible. God never said, take from me. Even Jesus never said, take from me. He said, take of me. Of me means, let me see if I can use someone. Come here, brother. Of me means this. Jesus says, I am life. Take of me. Come here. You can't have life without him. He says, I am life. Take of me. So he offers us life, but he is life. He never said from me because from me, come here. From me does this. And from me means I have it. And if I have it, somebody gave it to me. And if somebody gave it to me, it had a beginning. And if it had a beginning, it'll have an end. But he says, I am. Therefore, no beginning, no end. Life is a person. What's his name? He says also, I am bread. He never says, from me. He never says, I have it. He says, I am. The devil says, I have. Since the devil says, I have, it means he had a beginning. Somebody gave it to him. He's going to have an end. Somebody say, hallelujah. 
Jesus said, I am, because he is the beginning and he is the end. Thank you. So, he is life. He is glory. He is mercy. He is grace. Lift your hands and thank him for all he is.